Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at the GT Racing Ace M1. Keep watching to find out more. Oh, and save more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at a gaming chair. Well, not necessarily a gaming chair. This is a do-anything chair. It's good for content creation, gaming, uh, word processing, whatever it is when you're sat at your computer, or maybe if you're just uh, sat reading a book or even watching the TV. Having a nice, comfortable chair is a real benefit, not only to your own levels of comfort, but also for the aftermath as well. If you've been sat in a chair for a long time or led on a sofa, whatever the case may be, you get up after and you've got that achy back or you strain yourself, whatever the case may be. Hey, if you're getting older like I am, these things happen all the time. You younger guys, you're absolutely fine. You can lie on a piece of cardboard and you're absolutely fine. But for some of us, as we get older, we do enjoy our creature comforts, which is why I was absolutely overjoyed when GT Racing reached out to us and said, Mike, would you like to check out one of our latest chairs? So yes, totally over the moon with it. Now, I previously had a, one of their other versions from GT Racing, which you can check out in the video up here, which is a really, really great chair, a very good budget offering. But when they offered to send me their uprated new M1 model, I thought, yes, this is a little bit special. And it certainly is. Looking at the chair itself, which you can see from hopefully some of the B-roll, you'll see that it does look absolutely fantastic. You've got some carbon fiber effect. You've got that really nice PU leather, which is wipe clean and very, very nice to sit on. Very, very supple, actually. It feels very comfortable. Between the two chairs, if you're thinking, well, is it worth spending a little bit more money? Certainly, yes, the comfort levels are increased dramatically in this chair. You've got some really nice cold cell foam, which adjusts to the contours of your body and also, obviously, your buttocks as well, which is the uh, the primary point of contact for these chairs. And you can sit in it for extended periods without any fatigue or any kind of back aches, that sort of thing. Also, you've got things thrown in. Part of the deal, which is you get a headrest, as you can see here. And also, there is a fully adjustable and removable lumber cushion. I actually prefer this because you can actually just place it where you need it to. On a lot of chairs these days you see them with the elasticated straps where you can just adjust them up and down but generally there's never two times that you sit in the chair exactly the same way. So for me having this cushion loose I can just position it exactly where I need to without having to worry too much about it or if I don't like it I can just toss it to the side but generally I do like to use it because it does keep me in a more upright position which is good for my neck and my back. Also as well a good reason why we're doing this video now is there is actually an additional coupon you can put onto the discount at the moment, so you'll bring the price down a little bit further. All the information for that will be in the video description, and also you'll see it on the site shortly. So let's head on over. So this is the uh, GT Racing site. We're at gtracing.uk. Uh, there are different versions available for various countries. So if you click on the flag over the side, you've got United States, Canada, EU, United Kingdom, Japan, etc. They're continually upgrading the site, so it will change a little bit. You may see some extra countries added. But essentially, we're going to be on the UK version because we're in the UK right now. So as you can see, slap bang on the front of the site at the moment is the special of the month. So currently, there's £20 off uh, using the code GT20. So definitely, if you are going to be thinking about buying one of these, uh, you may take advantage of that offer at the moment. In fairness, GT Racing do quite often come up with the goods and offer special discounts and uh, price incentives every now and then. So even if you're not maybe looking at buying one straight away, definitely worth bookmarking to take a look in the future and maybe sign up to their subscription so you'll get an email come through if there's any special offers on. So yeah, definitely go ahead and do that. Again, details for that will be in the video description below and also you can find it on the site as well. But we're going to look today primarily at the uh, seat that I'm using, which is part of the Ace series. So we'll go into the Ace series and there's two main options here. So you've got the S1 and you've got the M1. Now the S1 is a slightly more competitively priced one. Uh, at the moment, you can pick that for 199.99. Obviously, again, take off 20 pounds for that discount. So 180 pounds, pretty decent price for a gaming chair. Very good quality, etc., etc. But the one I like is the M1 in black. So as you can see at the moment, the current pricing 279.99. Again, take off that 20 pounds, so it takes down to 260, which 260 pounds for a premium chair. I think is a fantastic value for money. There are certain other brands around, Secret Labs, Noble, etc., which will cost considerably more money. And in fact, if you look very, very closely at the Secret Labs Omega, you will see a lot of similarities. And I mean a lot of similarities. They could quite easily come from the same factory, but the Secret Labs one is considerably higher priced. So again, if you're looking for a chair and you've been looking at Secret Labs already, then um, yeah, maybe take a look at GT Racing instead. So at the moment, the GT, you've got the M1 Black, 
And that's it for that range. So let's take a closer look at that one. So this is the main page with the GT Racing Ace M1 Black. Now there are a couple of color options available. It's not um, massively different. It's mostly kind of things like the piping and the writing on the cushions and on the back, etc. So that is the black version, as you can see there. If we click onto the white version, you can see you've got a few little accent colors down this side trim, like I've got on mine. And also the stitching as well is got a little bit of a difference as well. They've got a little bit of red stitching on there. So um, for me personally, I do prefer this look. It's got a little bit of contrast to it. It's not one complete color. But again, personal preference, you may like something completely different. There is also, if you wanted, a beige version. Um, again, personal preference, I personally don't like the beige one. This, the beige one is more of a fabric base rather than a PU leather. So if you prefer fabric, then that's entirely up to you and it is certainly an option. And also there's one available in the ash color as well, which is the PU leather, but in kind of like a dove gray, which actually reminds me of some of the, uh, I think it's the Vardar seats from the older BMWs for racing BMWs. Yeah, it does look very similar to that in that dove gray. But as you can see, it's got five year warranty. So when you order one of these, you don't have to worry about it falling apart. And believe me, it won't. It's a very, very sturdy construction. In actual fact, this is one of the bigger upgrades of this version over the previous version that we reviewed. The actual construction quality, even though essentially they look very, very similar and the actual build is still very good, this one does take things up quite a few levels. The Even the screws, the bolts, etc. Even the base is uprated, so it's a much stronger chair. And I would say realistically, from my own personal experience, not that I am that much, but if you're around about 18 to 20 stone, I think that's probably about the maximum in this chair. I'm about 12, 13 stone, so for me it's absolutely fine. There are weight restrictions on it, but again, you can check that out actually on the site. So excellent warranty, five years, which is uh, really good for a chair. You do also get free shipping. So all the countries that it ships to, you will get free shipping. As you go through the checkout, it does say uh, shipping will be calculated on checkout. But once you get through to the end of the checkout, it does actually say free shipping. So again, free shipping is something to really take on board with this. So that is the chair, um, part of the spec. So you've got premium material, cold cured foam, uh, which is more comfortable and it certainly is. The difference between this chair and the previous chair we reviewed, the comfort level is taken up a lot higher, much, much more comfortable, especially for those kind of, if you're sitting down for a long time. Although you shouldn't sit down for a long time, you should get up and move around every now and then just to get your circulation going. But if you are slightly more sedative and you don't wanna move around too much, you are going to be completely comfortable. And uh, for those of you that watch my live streams, you'll know that I've sat in this chair for like three hours or so building a PC and it's been absolutely fine. And at the end of the stream, I haven't got up and sort of like, oh my God, it's been, okay, no problem. Absolutely brilliant. So if you want to check out our live streams, again, the links will be in the video description. Um, so you've got a thick metal frame, which is uh, more sturdy and stable. And yeah, I can certainly attest to that. It is a much, much improved design again, the previous design isn't bad, it's very good, but there are certain elements to it, like the plastic base, etc., which obviously they save money in certain areas. So this is certainly a more premium chair. Um, goes through all the specifications. So actually one thing you've got is the 4D armrests, which is something which is missing on the previous version. So the armrests, you've got the ability to move them up and down. You've also got the ability to move them forward and backwards, left to right and twist and spin. So depending on how you are, like in the moment under this desk, it's nice to have them lowered right down so I can actually get underneath the desk if I need to. But if you like your armrest a little bit higher, you can raise it right up so it's really nice and comfortable and feels really relaxed when you're using it. Again, if you want to angle it, you can do. Just twist the arms out and you can have it outward or inward depending on how you are and how you're gaming. Maybe you've got a gamepad. This is a perfect position for a gamepad with your arms being supported so you don't get that fatigue in your shoulders. You can also move the armrests in and out a little bit as well. So closer or nearer. So say maybe you've got two chairs next to each other and you just want to not take up so much room. You can move them in a little bit. Or maybe if you're a slightly bigger person, you can push them out. Getting lots of adjustability up, down, left, right, you name it. You can adjust pretty much anything. The wheels themselves, I'm just looking down because the wheels are about to roll over on my microphone lead. But the wheels themselves, actually really nice wheels. They are upgraded as well over this version from the previous one. So again, the whole package is upgraded. Is it worth the extra money? Definitely in my opinion. So moving on down through the site, uh, again, you guys can do this for yourself in the links in the description. So you've got the Ace Gaming chair, uh, buy now and enjoy five years warranty. Again, they've shown the white version there, which I, uh, I do think looks very, very premium indeed. Uh, and it says there, premium materials. So it's quality PU leather covering, which gives a premium look, uh, very durable and very low maintenance, easy to wipe clean, etc. Ergonomic design, again, um, I can certainly agree with that. It does feel very comfortable, and even over long periods, it is very, very comfortable indeed. 
Uh, you've got that new robust aluminium base, so the base itself, where the actual wheels attach, is all upgraded, so aluminium rather than being plastic as it was previously. And all the bits that you put together in the packaging are super, super simple. It does come pretty much flat packed, so it's relatively easy to transport. And when you put it together, it's very simple. All you do is push the five wheels into the actual caster base, then put your piston in, then put the cover over the top, attach the base to the actual mechanical section where you've got all your adjustments on. And then on the back piece, all you do is just put the sides on, hinges, put the covers on, and pretty much that is it. There isn't a great deal to do to it. If you've ever put anything together from Ikea before, you'll find the instructions extremely clear and easy to follow. And when you get all the bits, first of all, it comes in like a nice little blister pack with everything nicely divided up so you know exactly what is what, and it is very, very easy to do. Um, if you do want to see how it's actually done, we did do a previous build video on the GT racing chair, which you can check out up here. Again, this is a very, very similar build, which is probably why I managed to do this one in such a quick time. It was very, very straightforward. As it says there, so you've got the removable headrest and lumbar support. So if you don't want to use those, you don't have to. You can remove them very easily. Uh, large adjustable 4D armrest, as they said. Uh, carbon fiber wrap design. So the actual highlighted sections on here actually are like a carbon fiber PU effect, which is uh, really nice. And at the moment, it doesn't seem to be attracting much dirt. Again, if you do get dirty, then you can just wipe it over. That is the beauty of PU leather. Um, 90 to 170 degree back rest recline etc and obviously there's other products so if you do like the look of GT racing chairs but maybe you don't want to spend quite as much money there are other options available you've got the Pro Series the GT002 Blue which is uh, what Kath is currently sitting in at the moment which uh, again for £150 you can take off that £20 discount bring it down to £130 that is an amazing bargain for that sort of money and again very comfortable but not quite as comfortable as this little one so that has been my kind of thoughts and also the kind of walkthrough of the features on the GT Racing Ace M1 in white. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe for more content like this. And definitely if you are looking at getting a gaming chair either now or maybe on the run up to Christmas and going into 2021, for those of you that are now having to work from home, do yourself a favor, get rid of the other chairs you're using, maybe the chair from the kitchen or from the dining room, whatever. Invest some money in a nice, comfortable chair and you will certainly reap the rewards. So there you go, that wraps things up. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next gaming chair. Thanks for watching.